This is a demo version. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, maybe I do need to upgrade the drivers. The altars. All right, let's start. Let's see what's up with this. We don't really know it, but we sense it. There's a sister ship to our life, which takes a totally different route. While the sun burns behind the islands. Thomas Trent Stromer. Blue House. How did I end up here? I don't know. My whole life, all its ups and downs, led me to this place. Far from home, far from anyone I know. A journey whose route is unknown. And the destination, out of sight. Was this path just a random sequence of events that I had to follow? Or was there ever another way? Now, heading for the unknown, I can't really tell. Is this the end of the road? Or is it yet another branching? Thank you so much for the two months. Don't leave any love lying around. Make sure you pick it up, take it with you, pretty please. Anyone? Nothing. I need to figure out what happened. Billy, update your graphics driver. The colors are all fucked. Is that a joke? I've landed safely, but I think my capsule went astray. 
Climbable rocks are marked with a dot. Approach them and press E to climb. Okay. Running with a backpack simulator. Yep, yep. The graphics are obviously very fancy. Pretty solid atmosphere going on. know that. It's really, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I can't modify the audio right now. Like the VO is good, but I just can't, like it's a little too quiet. Maybe another reason is because I have it set to fucking speakers. She didn't crash. The, the capsule's intact. Uh, looks like she died inside of it. I don't get it. Yeah, a little bit of like kind of a like a lot, a lot of the colors uh, and like the little kind of indicator on the back of our suit, th these kind of things remind me a little bit of like Dead Space. Much uh, larger in terms of like, you know, out outdoor scale. We're not as confined uh, indoor, at least not yet. Anyway, I don't know what it's going to be like later. A lot of really cool stuff. Love a lot of the... Uh, Design choices on the planet. There it is. Oh, it's mobile base, all Balski right. Here. It's a giant wheel. Anyone copy? If you can hear me, I've located the base. I'll try and get down there. Maybe they landed closer to the drop off point. Hopefully, we don't end up being on the scavenger's rain planet. not great. Why? Very cinematic choices Makes for no like, sense. you know, you know, displaying them being deceased and stuff like that. This game is very cinematic. A, it seems like there's a lot of money being put into this game. Radiation wave? Now? Oh shit. It's rising fast. 
I've got to get to the base. Uh, fucking what? That doesn't look. That looks bad. I haven't seen the trailer for this, so I'm not. I'm not reading chat. I don't. It just got recommended to me, so we're playing it, just like everything else. They put dubstep speakers under the ocean, yeah. Just a little bit of radiation as a treat. Go, 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 Come get in there. On. Come on. Uh, uh, that was close. Just exposed to about 10 billion bananas worth of radiation. Hello? Anybody here? moment I hope someone else made it. I need to find the comms room and get help. Uh, list every item and resource in the base. Ten billion bananas. Whoa. Okay. I'll chalk up any weird graphical shit to the fact that apparently my drivers are out of dates. Establish a connection with Earth. Yeah, let's do that. I'm sure that'll go good. Hello? Hello. Can anyone hear me? There's static on the other side. Nothing more. Mayday! Mayday, anyone? I'm not the captain. This is the new captain speaking. Great. Um, yeah, uh, this is the new captain of the mission speaking, Jan Dolsky. Corporate ID 4672B. I'm afraid the former captain is gone. Together with the rest of the crew. The cursor just flashes on the screen. Okay. Hello? Can you get me out of here? You're in imminent danger. Short time remaining. Uh oh. Imminent danger. How much time? What? How much time? What's gonna happen? Static and weird, creepy noises. Thanks, Distress Terminal. Talk to me. What's the danger? The planet is rising. The sewer is ruined. The lethal proximity. Planet activity rising. Days remaining to lethal proximity. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you go all fuzzy on me. Proximity quantum nav system. Where the hell did it send us? Lethal proximity of what? Please, three meter of force dark approaching. This map must escape. The proximity dark next. Yeah, the VO needs to be turned up still. Yeah, I agree. A star will come and, and burn this planet? And I, and I just have days to escape? Is that right? Affirmative. <laughs> Facing sunrise. sunrise. Oh no! Perfect. All right. I need to find those captain's logs. Oh, weird. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I like the 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 narrative part of the game. Seeing seeing this aspect. 
uh, is less makes things a little bit less interesting for me. But like visually, I'm enjoying the game, and I like the story so far quite a lot. Base navigation system allows you to plan and start journeys between locations. Base building, new modes and ex nodes and expand the base. Okay. We got we got to find uh, the uh, Press tab and navigate to manual to find the logs. Like you uh okay. Um Welcome to the evacuation functionality manual. In case of an incident that jeopardizes your mission and the safety of your crew, please follow the safety protocols and move the base to a safe location. The following steps must be accounted for. Refueling the base, manufacturing necessary equipment, securing food supplies. The steps will be automatically tracked on your HUD. You got to manually start it by running on it? Yeah, we got to gerbil this shit. According to recent Ally Corp research, based on data collected from multiple missions, triple star systems are considered as potentially related to a very high probability of discovering rep rapidium in the Ally Corp classification system. Okay. Escape the sun. I have to find the evacuation procedure and get the hell out of this place. If I don't get the base moving in time, I'll burn to death. Okay. Okay, we need metals. As it says. Okay, so I guess we're going back outside. up a level. Radiation levels at night are deadly. Exiting the base currently not permitted. You can rest in the cabin's cabin and, uh, captain's cabin until tomorrow. Okay. The new database stuff. Manufacture necessary equipment. Locating organic matter deposits requires the deployment of an Ally Corp polygonal scanner. This handy tool, alongside other necessary equipment such as mining outposts and pylons, can be crafted in the workshop module of the uh, of the base. Okay. When going to sleep, you can select the hour at which you will wake up the next day. Sleeping longer gives you more work energy, represented by the pink bar. When it runs out, you'll become tired and work much slower. You should avoid working while tired. When the, nest, when the entire energy bar runs out, you will collapse from exhaustion and wake up the next day. Sleepy, sleepy. All right, let's get out there. Shallow deposits. You can find shallow deposits on the planet's surface. They contain a limited amount of resources that can be extracted quickly. They can be recognized as by red dust. Approach the deposit and interact with it.
the fuck is that? Why is it all pulsing? Oh, it's like a parachute? Or is it an organism? That looks like our ship's cargo drop. Oh, okay, it is a parachute. It's filled with the crew's personal items, including my stuff. Lava lamp. A silly thing I asked mom to buy me when I was a child. I loved it, then grew bored with it and threw it into the attic. I found it again many years ago and started to appreciate the calm, almost hypnotizing moves of the goo. I wonder if mom also appreciated it. Multi-tool. My multi-tool. A convenient set of uh, one of a few things everyone should always have in their pocket. I used it countless times to open bottles, fix things, and, well, open more bottles. It was a birthday present for my mom on my 18th birthday. Of course, she pretended it was the father's idea, but I knew better. Yeah. This is one of the things they told me to take on the mission. Things that will make you feel comfortable far away from home. Objects that trigger good memories. Some resources can only be acquired by stripping them from the planet's surface. You must engage the cutter to acquire them. I don't know how to do that. Follow the instructions to prepare for the journey. Gather six metals outside. Okay, we're gonna gather metals. This is like the stuff, right? That shiny rock might be a source of metals. Oh, here it is. What the fuck are we doing? Oh, okay. We're we have a fucking jackhammer. Jesus, that looked like. Like he's shaking around like it's like a horror game or something, like he's possessed. Time goes faster. Yeah, I see that. Looked like we were having a fit, just a little bit. Uh oh. Uh oh, chat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. <sighs> Hot potato take. I don't even enjoy watching Billy suffer from lawn mowing. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing I don't have to play it on Tuesday. Cowboy Billy's going to be coming in to play it, so no worries. Well, I, it'd be a little bit of a shame to stop playing the demo here because of this, but I think that's what's about to happen. The game seems great. Um, seems like it could be a, a really, really fantastic game. I'm like a little bit less hyped because of the gathering and crafting aspect of it. I would have like maybe like the, just more of a narrative experience, but, uh, but I don't know. No, there's no jump button. If there is, I haven't been told it. Anyway, I'm trying. I'm trying buttons. Just...
No. I could go back to six minutes ago. One thing I loved about the Planet Crafter is you could hit F4 at any time to unstick yourself. More games should do that, yeah. It, there's no I'm stuck up. I mean, if there is, it's... I'm, I'm hitting, like, everything. Seems like their evolution and this war of mine, only it's loneliness instead of war. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I think the story here could be pretty cool. You know, it's obviously a very cinematic experience. And, uh, you know, this is just where our story ends. Sometimes, uh, sometimes when you get stuck in space, you burn up in the atmosphere of some random alien planet. And sometimes you get crushed because a container from your living structure falls on you. And sometimes you just get stuck on some rocks and fucking starve to death. So... Them's the brakes. If I continue here, we'll see where it puts me, but I think it's going to put me back. Yeah. It's back when I rested, so I, I'm, I'm good. The game seems really great. Um... But I have a lot of stuff to, uh, to continue to play, so an unfortunate incident, we'll say. I'm going to wishlist the game. I feel like a lot of people probably already know about this game, if I had to guess. And that uh, this is probably going to be one of the most wishlisted games for Next Fest, if I had to make a guess as well. So... Atmospheric, uh, survival. They say it's a strategy game. I don't, uh, I mean, I guess I haven't gotten that. I mean, I guess there's like the, the building, uh, aspect to it, but. Um, atmospheric survival exploration game, very cinematic. Story seems quite interesting. Excellent graphics. It seems like, uh... Really great one. I did get, I did end the demo early since I got stuck and soft locked the game though. Billy got stuck on an invisible wall and starved to death. Womp, womp. Them's the brakes. Strategy is to avoid getting stuck on the terrain, maybe? Hmm. Lose 150 pounds with this one weird trick. Game devs hate it. Want to become a skeleton? Boy, howdy. Definitely big time recommend checking that one out. Um, gosh, I really hate to give it a five given uh, that we weren't able to really finish it, but we'll give it a four. 